Hey there, if you want to withdraw your KuCoin money into your bank account, you are actually in the right place. So first of all, I am into KuCoin.com and as you can see, what I need to do here is to find my wallet and here into my overview, I want to go into, well I can just click in here or I can go into my main or my trading account depending on where is my money, right? So in here for example, we have the main account, what I want to do is to select this option. So first what I want to do is to locate the token that I want to receive into my bank account. So let's say for example here is my KuCoin token and I want to go into withdraw. And here into withdraw I can withdraw that into a wallet address or a KuCoin user. But I want to send this directly into my, into my account. If I choose withdraw fiat, here's the fiat, right? As you can see, here's the tokens that are available into KuCoin. So specifically speaking about myself, I want to choose Mexican peso because this one is the one is available into my country. So I want to choose Mexican peso. And here we have the withdrawal method. Now, as you can see here, in order to continue, we have some security settings that we have to complete. So I have this trading password. I have this already completed. I have the SMS or 2FA and the identity verification I need to verify this in order for receive my money into my bank account which is actually really really simple I just need to upload an identity document photo here and just a selfie and I can go into submit once I've done that I can have here a withdrawal method but as you can see it appears something really interested here it says withdrawal methods will be available in your region soon if you are not able to convert all your tokens into the currency fiat that's available into your country i can give you another solution but i'm not pretty sure if it's going to be working with you i'm just going to be showing you what works uh for me into my scenario so what i did is to go back here into the overview and in here what i want to do is to locate once again the token that i want to send into my bank account and send this directly into a wallet that can be actually linked into my bank account. In my case, what I did is to use Bitso. Bitso is a crypto exchange, so it actually worked on almost every country. In my case, it did work in Latin America, so that's the reason why I use this application. What I just did is to went into into Bitso and try to look for a token that I can receive. For example, here I have a lot of tokens, but if I want to receive, let's say for example, KuCoin, I am not gonna be seeing that in here. So uh, whether I can make a trade for, let's say for example, USDT. So first of all, what I need to do is to go back into my KuCoin token, uh, transfer that into my trading account and trade this token for USDC. As you can see here, it's USDC. So after I make this conversion, now what I can do is to trade that token, is to send that money away. You don't have to be worried about this because this is just something like really, really, uh, it's not complex, but it's just a little bit more difficult to understand. But just being hypothetical, uh, let's say that now I have my USDC. So I want to go into my main account. I want to locate my token, which is this one. Go into withdraw. And here I want to choose a wallet address and a network. So I need to go back into Bitso. I need to choose USDC and here I want to deposit tokens. So here's gonna be throwing me and Ethereum network. So I need to choose this option, copy the address and paste that into my KuCoin account. And it's really important to choose exactly the same network, otherwise you might be losing your money, so you want to choose Ethereum. Might be the reason it's going to be really hard to use Ethereum because the fees are almost $20, so maybe you can choose KuCoin Community Chain. Like, it's really, really simple to use that, go into Confirmed. But this one has to be compatible with my Bitso account. So if this is not compatible, I cannot be using this um, network. So compatible wallet, we have MetaMask, KuCoin Wallet, BitKeep, uh, Trust Wallet. I'm pretty sure Trust Wallet is available for almost every country, so you might want to try Trust Wallet. But just for this specific tutorial, I'm going to be choosing Ethereum. Go into Confirmed, choose the amount that you want to send. Go into Withdraw, and then you can receive your money into Bitso. 
And the last thing to do here into Bitto after you have your balance already in here is to go into convert, convert in my case from USD my tokens into the currency that it's available into my country. And now that I have the conversion right away, I can go back into my wallet, focusing here onto my Mexican peso and hit into send so I can send that directly into my bank account. And as simple as that or even a debit card and it's actually really really simple just so it's just a matter of finding a wallet that can be accepted into your bank account if you are from the united states i'm pretty sure you can try to use paypal but if you are outside of the united states you can try something that i just did just try to find a wallet i'm going to give you trust wallet i'm pretty sure it might be working into your country you can tap in google and try to figure out which one fits for you the best so hopefully this was a very useful video for you guys thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time